Hey guys, and welcome on into today's college basketball pick video play as we open things up here on the first day of action in college basketball, November 10th, 2017. Be sure to check out all of our college basketball plays every single day over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going over two matchups and who we think has the better betting edge against the spread in each instance, opening up with Western Carolina versus Clemson, and then going into the matchup between Belmont and Washington. But in college basketball, the thing that I love about it is there's always so many games to choose from on a day-to-day -day basis, which usually gives us a pretty good opportunity to try to find some betting edges against Vegas. So opening things up here today with Western Carolina versus Clemson, the Southern Conference has produced some strong mid-major teams in recent years, and that should be the case again this year with veteran squads like Furman, Samford, and Mercer leading this conference overall. But really, from top to bottom, a very stable, uh, competitive league that should be a lot of fun for the fans of that conference to watch and see how all these teams shake out this year. Western Carolina didn't have a whole lot of success last year, but they have the potential and ability to at least play spoiler in the Southern Conference this year and maybe work their way more into the mid-tier of the league. They return a solid nucleus of players. Um, all five starters are coming back for this team, and they showed a lot of hunger throughout the offseason as they try to prepare and get ready to try to get this program heading back more in a positive direction, have a bit more success. Certainly continuity shouldn't be an issue for this group, at least uh, right out of the gate in comparison to a lot of the opponents that they're going against, and perhaps Western Carolina can use that to their advantage. One thing that this group really needs to improve on, and it's going to be making those open shots that they missed so often last year, not shooting at a great clip last season. If this group is going to be able to apply more pressure to their opponents, they need to take advantage of the shots that they're getting open or down in the lane and just converting at a higher clip. And if they're able to do that, they could certainly be more of a factor than what we saw out of this group a year ago. So going over to the home team, Clemson Tigers, they return just two starters to a group that disappointed going 17 and 16 overall a season ago. And the Tigers might fall even further this season than their 12th place finish in the ACC last year. Losing a guy like Jerron Blossom game won't be easy for the Tigers to get over, and this group has to feel like they missed out on an opportunity last year to be more of a factor in the ACC and maybe even push for a spot in the NCAA tournament, given the fact that they had some pretty nice pieces to build around last year. They came up short of expectations, and now going into this year with just two starters back, it's not likely that Clemson is going to be able to take a step forward from that 17-16 and 16 overall campaign. We expect a little bit of regression overall of this group, and they did finish 12th in the ACC, which isn't as bad as if you finish 12th in some of these other conferences in the Power Five, um, given the fact that the ACC from top to bottom is just very good on a year-to-year -year basis. But the Tigers, even if they're able to finish in about 12th this year, that has to be considered uh, probably a success for this team overall. Head coach uh, Brownell, he's going to have to rebuild this thing. I don't know if he's going to be given the time uh, you know, especially with the disappointment of last year, he's probably on his last legs here where if he doesn't have a pretty solid campaign overall, then Clemson might make a change at that head coaching position. So that's also something to keep in mind with this group throughout the regular season this year. So just to kind of wrap this one up, we're not very high on Clemson. Uh, we're a little surprised to see them giving this many points out of the gate against an opponent from the Southern Conference. Sure, Western Carolina might not be the class of the SOCON, but the Catamounts are a veteran group. That should be ahead of most teams in terms of chemistry out of the gate. And as a result, we feel like taking Western Carolina here to keep things competitive uh, enough to go on to cover this large spread of about 21 points, 20 and a half points right in that range. It should be a pretty solid value bet. So that's going to be our play here for the first game. And now we're going to go over and talk about the matchup between Belmont and Washington. All right, so scrolling on down here, Here's that Belmont versus Washington game. You can see the Bruins open up as about two and a half to three point underdogs. Uh, this should actually be a pretty competitive matchup. The Belmont Bruins will come into this contest expecting to win, not only because they're a program that's had a lot of success over the past decade, but also because they probably feel like they're the better overall team, especially at this point 
in the year uh, against this Huskies group who brings in a new head coach and a new system. Uh, they're probably going to take some time to figure things out. So this is a situation where Belmont really feels like maybe they can take advantage of that. Belmont is predicted to go on to win the Ohio Valley title again this year. Uh, but they will be challenged from squads like Jacksonville State and Murray State. The Bruins returned three starters to a group that won 23 games a season ago, but replacing a guy like Evan Brads won't be easy, certainly. But look for a guy like Austin Luke to step up and fill the void that Brads left uh, as Belmont has themselves another successful campaign of 20-plus wins. The home team today, the Washington Huskies. Uh, they do have some talent on their team, and in recent years, they've had some very talented players that have gone on to the NBA, but with that being the case, they've also had some really bad teams in recent years, and it'll be interesting to see where this program goes in the future under their new head coach, uh, Mike Hopkins, who was the heir apparent for the Syracuse job up until now, where he decided to stop waiting to get that Syracuse head coaching job and come over to Washington. Uh, the Huskies went an abysmal 9-22 and overall last year. They were just 2-16 and 16 in the Pac-12, but this group returns for four starters, so there should be some continuity there with the returning players. The issue is they're not in the same system, so it's not going to be the same continuity that you would typically see from a team that returns so many starters. A big plus for Coach Hopkins is the success he was able to have in retaining players from the previous regime. Washington is expected to fi finish near the basement of the Pac-12 again this season, but we expect more than the two conference wins that they picked up a year ago. Belmont comes into this matchup on the road looking to make a statement against a Power 5 opponent while Washington, they are looking not to get upended here on their home turf by a mid-major, so they may be playing the situation more of not to lose while Belmont might be more aggressive in trying to really uh, take advantage of that situation here against the Huskies. Belmont likes to challenge themselves in the non-conference, but the Bruins should be fresh here, uh, certainly just the first game of the regular season. Uh, in some recent years, Belmont has really traveled a lot and gone against tough opponents during the non-conference, which kind of wears them out during the non-conference slate. But at least out of here, opening up things, they should be fresh, ready to go. And we see the Bruins staying competitive as they might even go on to win this one straight up. So that's going to be our play here for today. Siding with the Belmont Bruins, getting those three points as our second bet for today's action. That feels like a pretty solid value play. And again, guys, if you want all of our college basketball picks every single day, you can check those out over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in. We hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.